all right what's up guys today i'm finally going to give you my thoughts on the alpha of destiny i was going to do this video like two days ago but i was you know i was just procrastinating and yeah i tried to play the game today and bam the alpha is closed so like all right let's do the video <laughs> So yeah, but first thing is uh, I want to thank my friend who gave me the code to play the game. Well, the alpha to play the alpha. He had two codes and he gave me one. So thanks to him. That's that's because of him that I'm able to do this video today. So Destiny, a game that a lot of people are excited about. Uh, not me. Like, I'm not a huge FPS guy, I already told you this in my Killzone 3 multiplayer videos. Of course, I can play them, sure, but I'm not a big fan and it's really, really, really hard for me to get excited uh, on, a, uh, on a FPS game, really hard. So yeah, I wasn't excited about it before playing the alpha and I'm still not excited. Now, the first thing that I didn't like about this alpha was the fact that there is an aim assist. I watched a couple of videos of, you know, the uh, some of the YouTubers I'm subscribed to who play the alpha and none of them put that uh, talk about that i was surprised because it's unacceptable at least for me i hate aim assist in any game i hate that and the worst thing is you can't turn it off in this at least in this alpha you couldn't turn it off you know so it was present and it was really a really high intensity like when you use the shotgun die, you could really feel the, the aim assist really strong. So yeah, that's something I hate and yeah, I didn't like it in this alpha. Now the second thing is, well, that's the, the second thing is pretty much related to how I think the story is going to be in, you know, in Destiny because I don't think uh, they are going to be default characters or set characters. What I mean by default characters, that's just, just um, you know, let's say, when you say Uncharted, Nathan Drake, you know. But when you're going to say Destiny, I don't think you will have a name on mine because unless I'm wrong, I, you know, I don't think... There are going to be any set characters. You create your own character, which is basically your avatar, and you play with it. And that tells you that they are really focusing a lot on the co-op, online, and multiplayer aspect of the game. Which, for me, uh, doesn't work for me. Because I want a good story and a good multiplayer. You know, you can have just one and leave the other one. I don't like it now of course i don't know how the final game is going to be that's just how i you know i think it's going to be from what i have so yeah that's another aspect that i didn't like now coming down to the gameplay aspect the overall feeling of the game is you know it's cool i like the movements like i said i didn't like the aim assist uh it definitely made me think about what is it? Borderlands, yeah. This game really made me think about Borderlands. Uh, you know, the co-op aspects, the monster, the RPG aspect, of course. Which, something that's really great about RPG games, it's when you level up, you know, you feel that you're really leveling it up because you kill people, well, you kill monsters way easier. Uh, you know, you get new weapons, new abilities, and all that stuff. But overall, in the gameplay aspects, uh, nothing that really is unique or really surprising in the gameplay aspects. So yeah, in that sense, I wasn't impressed. 
Uh, what else? Well, for the graphics, I was actually surprised because for an alpha, not even a beta, for an alpha, the graphics looks pretty good already, you know? Uh, even if I don't think the final game is going to be like uh, outstanding in terms of graphics, you know, I don't think the final game is going to be like that. But for an alpha, the game already looks pretty, pretty good, especially um, the multiplayer map. There was one map in the multiplayer that was pretty nice. Uh, I think that was the moon. Yeah, and that map was pretty nice. Uh, I like that. Uh, so yeah, what else? What else? I already talked about the uh, aim assist, the story. Mm, yeah, overall, even if it's not my type of game, I found it being cool, but not really something that I will get excited for and I will buy the game. No. I really, like, like I said, for me to get impressed by an FPS game is really, really hard. I like the, the the last FPS game that I really enjoyed, and I was actually really surprised was the uh, Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, that's the really last FPS game that was like, wow, this game is amazing, and it was. Too bad I couldn't do a review on that, man, but yeah, that game was fantastic. Uh, I I actually bought uh, Far Cry Three, Far Cry Three, uh, and. Yeah, it's cool. I haven't beat it yet, but you know, it's cool. Pretty long too. But yeah, coming back to Destiny, like I told you, I'm not a huge fan of FPS games, but I found it being cool. But yeah, there are a lot of buts. But uh, yeah, the aim assist, not for me, the uh, the fact that you create your own avatar, like, I'm pretty sure you're going to create your own avatar even for the single player, and that, uh, I'm not quite sure about me liking that, because let's say, let's take Mass Effect, a game that I'm actually playing right now, in Mass Effect, you have a default character, right, but you can change the appearance of the character at the beginning, right? But in Destiny, I don't think you will have that option. You will only have, uh, you will only want to create a character, uh, a special class at the beginning, which is something that I don't like. But yeah, overall, this alpha was cool, but not enough for me to buy, uh, to buy this game. Really not. So, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about the game, if you played the alpha, and yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll leave you with this small part of the gameplay, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next videos, bye bye, god bless you.